In this video I will show you how can we make a 2 bit comparator. So for this first we have to take two 2 bit numbers. Let's suppose we have taken n1 and n2. So for these 2 bit numbers there are going to be four inputs a, b, c and d. Now for comparing these two numbers there are going to be three outputs. The first one will be that the n1 number will be equal to n2. The second output will be n1 less than n2 and the third will be n1 greater than n2 only there are these three possibilities for these three possibilities here is a truth table that we can see on your screen so we have written all these possibilities now in this truth table and now we will use this truth table to make a corner map for function one uh, as you can see on your screen this is the uh, corner map and for the first function we have written the equation over here and it is written in the form of uh, sum of products and then we have simplified the equation after simplification the circuit the circuit is shown here for the first uh, condition where n1 is equal to n2 now for the second equation we uh, did the same thing we first made a count of map and then the equation and then the circuit and then again for the third condition we did the same for the Proteus implementation first we will make a new project on Proteus and then we will click on this P and then select the required components which is AND gate, OR gate and NOT gate and also the, the, the logic toggle Now here we have given these four inputs A, B, C and D and using the NOT gates we will we can invert the inputs. Now here we have started designing our first function F1 which is N1 is equal to N2. Here we will use an LED to show our output. If the LED is on, the output will be 1 and if it is off, then the output will be 0. Now our first function is complete over here. We will write uh, the name of the first function which is n1 is equal to n2. Now we will proceed to our next function f2 which is n1 is less than n2.
With this second LED, our second function is also complete. Now we will proceed on to our third function. Now our circuit is complete with these three outputs. At last we will give names to the three outputs and also the four inputs that we gave. Now we will compare our produce results with the truth table shown on your screen. Now first of all, we can see all the inputs are zero only if one is on. As you can see here, only the first LED is on. Now in the second, when we turn on the D1, then function 2 will display that the second LED will turn on and the first and the third LEDs will be off. And you can see over here. So in this way we can make a 2-bit comparator on Proteus 2.